Hello YouTube, it's your boy B3 back to another kicking action figure review. Picked up a couple NECA Godzillas today, so we'll be reviewing them. First up, we are doing the Godzilla vs. Biollante Godzilla, aka Godzilla 1989. Really nice packaging, you get the movie poster there and everything. Uh, tilt it down. Legal, you know, legal stuff. Got the movie poster there on the side, 65th anniversary. Movie poster on the side, 65th anniversary. And then you got some little uh, marketing pictures on the side and a read-up. Emerging from a fiery pit in Mount Mihara, Godzilla returns to wreak havoc once more. Drawn to a Shinko lake, the creature faces off against a hybrid monster created from the cells of a human, a rose, and even Godzilla. Will Godzilla's strength and power be enough to defeat the might and ferocity of Biollante? Or it's Godzilla met its match. The world may never know, unless I watch the movie. But uh, there's also an inside. You know, you see Godzilla here, and you see Godzilla here. Pretty cool. But uh, yeah, now let's bust him out of packaging. And here he is, the 89 Godzilla out of packaging. I've been wanting an 89 Godzilla in my collection for a while. I actually passed up the little Bandai America one several times, including today when I got this guy. I was like... Little Bandai America one, big neck one. It was an easy choice. I still want the little one, though. You know, I, I still want the little one. But, uh, yeah, you know, this guy's really cool. Happy to say this is my first 89 Godzilla figure. But it does have... <coughs> excuse me. It does have some flaws. It does have some flaws. First, let's talk about the tail, which was a pain to put in. I had to heat it up and first and then do it and it still didn't want to go uh, you can really tell where it goes in like it's not subtle I'm not even sure if I have it in all the way but it feels like it's in all the way but it doesn't look like it's in all the way I don't know there's kind of like this big gap a little bit you can really see it see feels like it's not in all the well it looks like it's not in all the way but it feels like it is He's also very stiff, like a lot of NECA figures are, straight out of the packaging. So uh, be wary of that, you know. I'm actually going to have to heat this guy up a lot, lot more before he's really uh, super pose ready. These arms don't want to bend at all. And uh, he's got, like, a good sculpt and stuff. But the face maybe isn't the best. I feel like his eyes might even be too big or something. Because, you remember, 89 Godzilla had kind of a scary face. And this guy's face isn't very scary. Uh, I don't know what it is about it, but I think the eyes might just be too big. I think that might be it. I don't know. I always felt like 89 Godzilla had smaller eyes. But I could be wrong. It's been a long time since I've watched Godzilla vs. Biollante. So give me a break. But yeah, something about his face is just... He's not angry. Look, he looks cute. <laughs> I have no problems with a cute Godzilla, but... Not 89. Uh, but yeah, he actually has a ton of articulation. Uh, yoop, let's zoom out a little bit. Uh, you got nice head and neck movement all over the place. A nice jaw. My jaw articulation is the best thing you can give a kaiju, honestly. Nice torso movement. Arm goes forward and back, in and out. Uh, this rotates, and it's also supposed to bend, but it doesn't really want to. Hand rotation, finger articulation. The legs move all around. You got a knee bend, you got a swivel at the knee, movement at the foot. Segmented tail, so going down the tail, you know, it's segmented by twos at first, and then it's single segmented uh, down. Lots of stuff going on there. Very cool paint job and etc. as well. So, now let's compare him with other kaiju and stuff. So, first I want to show him with another NECA Godzilla. Here he is with the uh, NECA 2001 Godzilla. You know, he's always been a hunter. <laughs> Uh, let's show him with a Gamera. Here's the Movie Monster series, Gamera 95. Pretty cool. I can dig it. I can dig it. 
And lastly, how about a Kong? Here he is with the Mezco King Kong. Yeah, so varying sizes there. Pretty cool figure as a whole. I really dig it. I'm glad they released him because this is a Godzilla design that doesn't really get enough love, to be completely honest. I feel like he doesn't get enough love. Now for accessories, he does get this Atomic Blast, which is actually pretty nice looking. Lots of white, lots of shiny blue, you know. Uh, you shove it in the back of his mouth and he bites down on it and then voila you have a blast firing Godzilla very very cool you know everybody loves that and I like how NECA started giving it before the end they started giving us blast effects that weren't on uh, you know figures like the other Godzilla I just showed you weren't atomic blast versions which I think is nice of them. Thank you, NECA. Even though they took a hiatus, I could make a whole video about their hiatus on the second channel if I wanted, but not right now. Because I totally understand their hiatus. If it's not even just a line ending and they don't want to tell us. But, uh, that is it for my NECA Godzilla 1989 review. You know, I really like the look of 89. You know, it started... Uh, the classic Heisei suit that lots of people associate Godzilla with. They kind of switched it to Shin in Japan. First everything was Heisei and now everything is Shin, you know. But, uh, still a really great, cool Godzilla. Godzilla vs. Biollante is a fan favorite. Uh, and hopefully NECA will come back with the line eventually. Uh, but until then, uh, sayonara NECA. But that's it. Thank you all once again for your support. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, etc. And I will see you all next time when uh, I think we're going to do another kaiju.